What's up YouTube? This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today we're actually going to go over valve gates. What is a valve gate and how to sequence valve gates and all that, okay? So what I wanted to read you guys on this sheet that I got here. So what, what I got is this is a valve gate and it shows you the pin, the valve needles and all that. So we're going to go over this a little bit more in detail, but I want to read to you guys what a valve gate is, okay? A valve gate shuts off the flow of molded plastic to a mold at a specific time at the part surface, okay? This allows, allows a part to be molded without a sprue or a runner. So if you have a conventional runner system, you'll have a sprue or you'll have a runner. And then you have to discard of that and you have to get it grinded up. So this when you have a valve gate it actually what it does is it cuts down on material costs because now you don't have to grind up the runners or anything so stay stay tuned to the channel um i'm going to have a video inside this video to show you guys exactly what a valve gate is and how it works and then i'll go over the whiteboard with you guys to show you how to sequence them there's all different kinds of sequencers out there inco make one Zaventive makes one, Husky makes one. There's just so many different ones out there in the world. It does not matter what you have, you sequence them all the same. They all work about the same. They're, it's a pin that pulls out of the way. They're hydraulic, they're pneumatic. I mean, they're, they're all about the same, but stay tuned, watch the next part of the video. So this is what I wanna show you guys a little bit of how this works. You'll watch the pin here pulls, material comes through. Next one comes down. This is sequencing valve gating. So if you look at it again in another angle, the pen pulls, the next pen pulls, the next pen pulls. Okay. That's that is sequential valve gating. So let me click to the next video or next thing and you'll be able to see what I, how I explain it to you guys, okay? So this here would be the close-up of it. So this is how it would go into the here. Material would flow around the pin, go into the part. This here would be your mold surface right here. That shows you how it looks. You know, and that's your part. Your part breaks away. So that's what happens when you get flash around it. You can change that by how fast you inject the material into the mold and stuff that changes that, okay? Let me show you guys something else that's a little different on this, okay? So this is how a valve gate would actually work. You have this pin right here that moves up and down in this cylinder area here. This is a hydraulic ram that moves this pin up and down. What it does is it comes down through here, goes through the hot tip area. This is like a nozzle body then your nozzle tips at the very bottom down here. So your material will go back and forth out of that. So this is your sprue bushing. You'd have two of them on here, so this. All right guys, welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different scenarios that you could try. So let's say you have a part in a mold that's, let's say this is the part, let's just use a part as a rectangle, okay? Let's say gate one's there, gate two's here, gate three's here, gate four's here. These are your valve gates for the part, to fill the part out. Let's say the part is like a long part, okay? You, some people might fill, fill from the center out. Some people might fill all four gates at the same time. So you might say, all four of these gates open together at the same time to fill the part out. So if you open these gates up, you'd have a circle, a circle, a circle, circle, all the way out. You might have a flow front. Or you might fill two and three first, open those two up first to have a flow front. You might have a knit line here in the center. Or let's say you have a part that's longwise like this, okay? Let's say you start at one side and you go gate one here, gate two here, gate three, gate four, gate five let's say it has five valve gates you might fill all of those the same okay or you might start with the very first one in the center start it at the start of injection okay then the next two would be two and four then after that you do one and five so that's one way of doing 
another sequence, okay? Um, it just depends on the parts you're running and how fast you're filling it, plus on on these different ones. Now, I don't, there, there is a lot of different valve gate systems out there. Like I was saying, there you got Inco, Husky, Savinev. Now, Savinev's got a Senflow unit that where it lets you take the pin. Let's say, let's say this is the pin, okay? And this is going into the mold, okay? And this is the mold. So what they what they'll do is they can control this cylinder right here to have that pin pull slower or fast, okay? With a conventional valve gate system, you don't have no control over it. Whatever the hydraulic pressure is, that's how fast it's going to pull. Pneumatic, no matter how much pressure you put on it, it's going to pull regardless. You don't, you can't slow it down more or less. With a Savinov one, you can actually control this cylinder. You can control how much fluid goes into it to where it controls that pin so it don't open. It opens slower or faster. That way you don't have gate blush. You don't have a lot of different areas at that part. I'll show you a little bit more in the next video. I get called to press. Okay, so welcome back. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about as far as sequence and valve gate. Let me turn this just a little bit. Okay, so let's say let's say you're making a bumper or something on a car and your bumper goes all the way around. It's a plastic part that goes all the way around like this and then it comes back around like this. Okay, let's say you got six gates on here or five gates, okay? Let's say gate one's here, gate two, gate three, gate four, gate five. Okay, let's say that's that's your that's the things, okay? So let's write these out here. Most of the time they go in sequence. They go all the way across. Like they'll start over here. Like this might be gate one, two, three, four, five. It just depends however you want. So in order to fill this part so you don't have no flow lines or anything, you want to start with the center gate first. So you do you go with three first. Then you'd fill all the way until you just get right by that one and right by number four. That, that that's the material flow front. So you're going you're going across, going across. As soon as it gets past that gate, just a little bit past it, then you have so, so this one you'd have open at the beginning, open, at injection, start of injection. Okay. All right. So that's. Number three would start at the ejection. Then you'd have number two and number four turn on at a certain position. So whatever position this would be right after you get past these two just a little bit, that would be where you turn on those gates to continue the flow front down the length of the part. So you're going down the length of the part still. So then after that, then the next two would be five and one would be the next two. And then you'd fill out all the way out to the end of the part. Now, sometimes what people do is they'll shut stuff off. Like, they'll shut this one off. Like, they'll have a timer. They'll say, okay, I'll open this one up. I want this one to shut back off after two and four turn on. Okay? Or what they might do is they might do something like this. They might say, okay, well, I'm going to fill the whole part out. Once I get to the very end of the part, once I hit my transfer position, I'm going to pack out all this. They might shut off, like they might shut three off, they might shut four and two off at, at hold, okay? At hold, you wouldn't have no hold here in the center because you already got all that packed up. They'd just use the pack on the ends just to pack out everything on the ends. If you had any kind of sinks, hopefully this would help pack out a little bit in the center area. If you didn't, what you could do is you could say, okay, I wanna leave this gate on for just a little longer or shut it off sooner and stagger it to where you have three shut off, then two and four shut off together. And then after, then right before it starts to meter, then you'd have five and one shut off. So you'd have this one shut off first, then this, and then these two after hold, during your hold time, if you understand what I'm saying. So then your your needle on your on your part would be like this. So you'd have your cylinder up here and inside the cylinder, you'd have a little pocket like this that has a little lip that goes over like this, and that's your needle. Then your needle comes straight down, then it tapers at the very end, okay? And then it comes back up. So what this taper does is this taper at the very end, That's this is where your mold would be, okay? So that's your part is it there. 
this is on the surface of the mold so what happens is hydraulic or pneumatic you have two one cylinder goes one way which this will force material in which forces the pin down this arrow here would force material back in it's either pneumatic or it's hydraulic it's your choice that's how they make them but that pin will move up and down lets material flow right by it into the mold then it seals it back off no runner no sprue so i hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video i hope it helps you out um, please like share and subscribe till next time peace